Hi, Dan, Midwest Technical Sales. We're putting this particular video together for a customer and that we've identified a specific problem. Well, we think we've identified a problem. But what happened is that in this particular instance, uh, they bought a uh, TL4000 and we had it packed in original equipment Dell packaging. Package didn't get damaged, but the library got, magazine got pushed in. So Elizabeth, hi, I'm Dan. So uh, just to let you know, I do have gray hair, so I'm a vintage guy, but it's all here. <laughs> okay, Rich is going to focus here. What we kind of think uh, that may have happened is that we would like you to inspect the magazine, uh, the right side magazine that's bad. Pay a particular attention to the area back here and in here, okay? Now the reason I say that is that when you look closely at the chassis itself, you'll see this, um, this particular, there's a black thing here and it bolts to the chassis itself. We think that could have gotten broken, allowing that magazine to go in a quarter of an inch too far. And that could be the issue. Now, the other thing that we're highly suspicious of is this opto sensor back here. So all this thing is that it shoots out a beam of light, and when this particular tab is in there, it breaks the beam and it says, okay, there's a magazine in there. It's not there. It says, you know, please insert your magazine. So this is relatively easy to replace, too. It's just a connector here that goes on in the back this way. Now, you could have also had some damage in this locking assembly here, okay? Now, what this does, there's a little um, uh, sort of a keyed index on here. It goes into this slot on the library. It locks it, locks it in place, okay? It goes into this slot, locks it in place. That could have gotten damaged too, but we don't know for sure. So, we have all of these parts in stock. Um, this, you know, we, we could replace this in our facility probably in two or three minutes because we know how to do this. But I just wanted to show you the complexity of it or the lack of complexity of it to see if you can do it. On this particular guy here, um, it, it, it's easy to replace this, but we have to make sure we send you the right side. Um, but we're kind of thinking that that is most likely the issue with this magazine. Now the other thing that could have happened, we don't know for sure, and once you have that cover off you might, might power it on. This picker could have taken such a hit, even with the picker lock in there, that it, it, it somehow maybe did something to this ladder thing. I mean it shouldn't get damaged with that picker lock in there, but we can't rule that out yet. So once you get the cover off you can kind of make it play. Uh, and then, seeing this is for you. We may show it to other people, but they don't know who you are anyways. I wanted to show you what happened on your original library. This, uh, you had one of these guys um, bent. And there was no way that we can bend it back in place. If you see these gussets that are in here, this, this assembly is spot welded in here. So, you know, we, you, you can't leverage on it to push it back. So it was just something that when we have situations like this, we can't fix them. We tried a couple times and we can't get it done. So that was what was the problem with your first one, which then led us to replacing, um, you know, the whole chassis for you. So hopefully that'll help. And I heard on the news today that Oregon had a massive sinkhole open on 101, and I, I certainly hope the delivery truck didn't fall into that prior to delivering this to your facility. But it took a big hit. <laughs> All right, take care. Thanks.